actually a bit chilly today. Pretty day. Don't you just love spring? It's so exciting. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I've got to show you what I worked on. Look, I painted the poles. I've got to do the gutter still. That's just undercoat. I've got to put, I think I'm doing a black gutter. What do you think of that? Or is it going to be too much? But doesn't that look so nice? It's pretty. This is going to be our, our outdoor table. I'm just going to make some nice bench seats or find some that go with it. We can have picnics out here. Oh, it's going to be good. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get into the gardening. This is the goal of what I hope to get done today. Kids are all back at school, so we've got no kids to look after, which is great. So I've got until four o'clock this afternoon and it's nine o'clock now. So I've just got to try and work through. I want to try and get the these boxes here. Well, these boxes here are the shade tunnels. So same setup as this, but just with the shade cloth. Really like to get that set up today. I know I'm saying too much stuff. I'm never going to get this done, but let's just see how much I can get done. I want to get that done. I want to set up a pumpkin patch. I picked up some boxes this morning. I don't have enough boxes, but at least I've got some so I can use those. Okay, so I've got to set up a pumpkin patch. So uh, I'd like it rotary hoed, but Moroni doesn't really feel like doing that. So what I think I'll do is just mulch short, put the cardboard down as much as I can and Oh, do you know what? I just had a thought. <laughs> you know how I hate using weed mat because I won't use it in the garden, like in the flower field? I could use it for the pumpkin patch because there's not that many holes going in it. Hey, Mimo. Uh -huh. I just had an idea. Instead of putting the cardboard down and mulch on top for the pumpkin patch, I could use that weed mat. You know how they do that with the flower, flower farms and they put the little holes in it? I could do that in an area for the pumpkin patch. Okay. But that's really going to stuff up the soil, whereas if I do the mulching, I'm preparing the soil, aren't I? Uh, no, I think it will, will be okay. Which one do you, would you do? Whatever you feel more comfortable with. No, I just want you to tell me. Oh, the weed mat? Oh, no, I'm going to do the other one. Okay. Just joking. He always says, why do I bother asking him? Because I do what I want anyway, and I do the opposite thing. So I just thought I'd stir him up. He doesn't care though. He's just the most placid person on earth. Did you check for spideys? Yeah. No, I didn't. It's living life on the edge. Moroni said he dug up the patch for the pumpkin patch. So we're going to go have a look at it, and that might help me make my decision. i to pick the Renux, we just forgot this morning. And our child didn't come and do it. She mustn't want money anymore. That's what happens when you got no bills. <laughs> Imagine that. Look how cute it looks. Oh, it's a row. Aha. Uh -huh. Not what I was imagining. a bit sidetracked <laughs> we're down at the creek because we think we can plant watermelons down here and not have to water them as much that's what we're looking at the only thing is when it floods <laughs> we'll wash them away we'll get back to that other job in a minute We call this a secret beach because it's got the most amazing swimming hole. Like in the deep part, it's up to about my shoulders. So it's actually really, really fun. And it's nearly warm enough to come down here. This water's freezing cold, but yeah, I'm just thinking what if we were to plant the watermelons, put them in big tubs 
and have a rope from the bottom of the tub into the water so it just constantly uh, sucks moisture up. Maybe we could do that. We might try a few different options down here. We think we might put some over on that bank, like just straight into the bank and then do some tubs up here. Probably not this week. <laughs> might get it done next week. We're expecting a lot of rain this week, so get past that first. I'm going to show you quickly how to tie these, how to, what do you call it, like crochet them so that they can be hung up nice and neat. So first things first, you want to grab the piece and just kind of hold it so it's in a loop and you grab that, grab a piece and pull it through. Keep holding this for now. Put your hand back through that piece and grab the long bit, pull it through. Now you can let go of that. And you just keep doing it. You just grab, pull through, grab. You just got to keep it neat and pull through. When you've got to the end, let's just pretend I got to the end. So then you're putting it out on your garden bed. You'll anchor it down. We'll just anchor it on the gate. And it comes, it comes undone really easy. So then you can run along your bed. I'm back with a plan. I realized these plants are tiny. So if I just tidy up this little section here, get the plants in and put the cardboard down and just mulch that area. I don't have to worry about all of this right now because it's a while before they grow. So I might actually get today's jobs done. I've pulled all the sticky tape off these boxes. I've got to pick up rocks. Hello, I'm checking in. I feel buggered. <laughs> I've still got to do a heap of loads of wood chips. And I'm not sure if I should actually plant the pumpkins out today because we're potentially having 90 mils of rain over the next two days. Like worst case scenario, there could be flash, flood, flash flooding. When you're farming, the weather's can be a pain. You know, you think you have a plan, but you've really got to plan everything around the weather and then the weather changes. Hey, but while we're here, look, this is the Ceruria from weeks ago and it's drying but look it still looks like fresh flowers how cool is that okay i just needed to have a sit down and a think didn't get all those jobs finished it's really early but not as early as you think it is quarter to seven I'm running a little bit late I'm running about 15 minutes late I've got to go to the wholesaler and then make flowers in the boot again and then 
meet a girl roadside <laughs> from my car to pick them up. I didn't sleep very good last night. I'll tell you about that later too, boy. Mm -hmm. I've just been to the wholesaler and now I've come to Bunnings to make the bouquets, like <laughs> the Bunnings car park because Maccas is right there and I wanted a hot chocolate but the line is so long and I'm like I can't I can't waste my time this morning so I'm gonna make these bouquets and then try and get my hot chocolate if I've got time wish me luck Hazardous. It's hazardous to marine life, but it's also hazardous to my mental health. Well, in your physical health, you almost trip on it. I know. Look, it's cold and everything. I hate it. What are you doing? I'm stuffing it in a bag because I'm going to give it to Jenna. And I know you are all thinking, why would you stuff it in a bag and make it hard for her? Because there's no way to store it. Like, this is literally how you have to store it. You can't keep it neat. So I want her to experience the full wrath of this stuff before she goes out and buys a thousand metres of it. You look very really serious about it. It kind of feels a bit depressing because we had such nice sunshine we we're getting so much done and now it's got cold again and it kind of feels like when it goes from being pretty warm and then it goes back to cold your body doesn't cope as well <laughs> like the cold feels way colder so we don't really want to go and work out in the cold now yeah, what i'm doing with these ones is this is like Pretty obvious. This is the old wall. Yeah. Okay. So we don't need that one. So what I do is I just cut it, mm -hmm. so I can decide better what I'm going to get my my new cuts. Okay. So I cut the stalk as well, and then if I you put it like that, you can see the whole crown, and then I see that some are also sprouting from, sprouting from the bottom. Yeah. So that, that is also good. So in this one, uh, if I look from here... Well, that one's got a snapped neck. Yeah, this, so this one. This one I can also get rid of. Spring. This one is too little. So that won't work. This one won't work. And this one won't work. And then this bit also. So now you can make a decision. So probably if I... Oh, I can see the the new growth here mm -hmm. and there and there. Mm -hmm. So I think I can cut across here and probably this one divided there. Okay. So I'm going to cut 
Uh, Sometimes I do it with a knife. Yeah, well, hey, it's just cut it. We've got heaps of this. Just do it. Okay. Want to put one here and like under this one. And now I'm trying to make it become more because you know like how it has mm -hmm. and it has one and we put it with the rest and this one we have two one here and one here so I can try to mm -hmm. put it right here in the half and now we have this one and another one lovely Got to show you what I got at the wholesaler, and I it's still the same day, I'm just in a different outfit. I've had like three wardrobe changes thrift demand, canary bells, Chrissy's, Chrissy disc buds, some straw flowers. This is apparently smoke bush, never seen this one. Um, and a native posy. Oh, and I got some sweet William, there wasn't as much variety in there today as. You would imagine it for the start of spring. Hey, look at my wisteria. Looks cute. Hey, it's kind of it's kind of trying up there. We'll see what happens over the season. Anyway, heading into Bunnings now because I'm kind of sitting around twiddling my thumbs because it's raining and I had all this momentum for the outdoor work and the garden and the planting and getting all that stuff done. It just feels like. It's just stunted all my momentum. It feels terrible. So I figured I could be depressed and mope around. Or I could be depressed and go do something. So I'm going to go in and get some soil so I can do some more sowing. Because we've lost some of the seedlings. I think it got too hot in that tunnel and they just died on me. So that's a fail. Anyway, let's go. I've had to abort mission because I'm so tired. I physically don't think I can drive into town, so that sucks. There's nothing I can do about it. And I think it's safer if I just go home. So I'm only probably six minutes away from home, but I will show you something cute. This, oh sorry, this in front of me here is wild lavender. It's an entire, it grows everywhere around here. And it's actually having a very good season right now. Look at there, look. That's lavender. That's cute, hey? I feel like this day is just a bust. I feel like I should just go to bed. You know, this is probably one of the downfalls of really loving what you do you just want to do it all the time like I want to be gardening all the time and when you can't be doing it you kind of don't know what to do with yourself <laughs> I think I'll go home and edit a video I've got a couple of videos sitting there that I haven't edited yet so I think I might go do that It's still raining. We have been on flood watch, but it's been okay because it's been pretty steady rain. We haven't, luckily we haven't had it all within two hours like we did last year. got really cold again it's okay in here because it's not windy obviously but the water's kind of just flooding through anyway everything looks pretty good in here I didn't bother watering yesterday I won't water today Renux is sitting in water I'm gonna have to lift them up tomatoes are doing good even if I bring some bricks in and just prop things up because I think we've had about 60 mil of rain yesterday and there's more coming <laughs> 
Everything's full. Dams, tanks, driveway, unfortunately. Everything's just absolutely wet. This dam is full to the brim again. So if we get an onslaught of water, it's just gonna start flooding into the flower field. Everything out here looks absolutely fine. I could, the wind, you can see the wind in the trees. It's actually quite windy, but it's just a little breeze down here. We're very well protected, which is extremely amazing. Ah, luckily we didn't plant everything out when we had that burst of heat. You know, it was those really hot days. Um, and there's people talking about, you know, tomato growers and stuff. They're not putting their tomatoes in the ground for another few weeks. So we'll hold off as well. We will get the dahlias, dahlias in because the ones that are still in the ground have already sprouted. The tubers are sprouting. Anyone following along will know that in the past we've had trouble with this shed leaking because we didn't have flashing on. And I think we've solved the problem. I'm just double checking that we don't have any issues. No. This is such a mess in here. I need to come in and organize stuff and clean it out. This should be fine. Oh no, there is a leak, look. Oh no, there's water everywhere. There's just been too much water. It's such a pain. It's such a pain when you've got a leak on a building and you cannot for the life of you work out what, where it's coming from. Let me get rid of this. I had a project. Now I don't. I don't think it actually got onto the carpet, which is good. That will be the fix for now. It's a real blessing to be a bit handy and know how to fix things because when we do figure out where this leak is, no point fixing anything until we know where that is. Um, shed frame's steel, so nothing will be damaged there. And the floor's concrete, so we're pretty lucky. It's just um, plaster and those skirting boards are composite. They just swell when they get wet. So I'm pretty thankful, like, I can just pull those skirt Once we fix the leak, and no, it's not going to do it again, we rip out the skirting boards, may have to cut the bottom bit of plaster off, may have to replace a little bit of the insulation inside the wall, but then it's fixed. <laughs> I know that sounds like a lot, but uh, it's really, really good to know how to do things. So if, you, if you've got little projects around the house, learn how to do it yourself, because you save so much money, and really, you can do it. You really can do it. I've done so many things. I mean, I built this entire studio. Well, frames were kind of easy. They came like a, a kit. <laughs> we ordered sizing and the frames just turned up. But then we've done all the plastering, all the mudding of joints, everything, all the external part, everything. Look, drive when we're going to go and sell. Oh no, did that change? It just changed, it was going to be fine. <sighs> so what should we do? Because you've just, oh, you've just gone and picked all that foliage. I know, this is just, uh, I am so annoying. We're not going to make any money today. Mm -hmm. 